Zion Williamson's rookie season was not that groundbreaking outrageous year we expected. Was he overhyped coming out of college? Let's deep dive into this. It's Devin Howard. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm there as at Devin Howard. Double check that you've subscribed to the Fumble. Don't forget to tap the bell for notifications and hit the thumbs up for me. Going into the 2019-2020 season, all eyes were on Zion Williamson. The Duke athlete was unbelievable, possessing size and power that we don't see very often in the NBA. But he ended up suffering that preseason injury, which kept him out for most of the regular games. Was he overhyped coming into the league? It's disappointing to notice that Zion played in only a handful of games before the shutdown. He's a powerhouse player, but with his size comes a high risk of injury. At 285 pounds, the athleticism that he possesses actually puts a strain on his body, which might hurt his longevity in the league. Zion only played in five out of eight games inside the bubble, and in those games, he definitely looked slower and less powerful than we expected. While on the NBA campus, Zion did note that he plans on getting into shape and is willing to do whatever is necessary to become the player we all expected him to be. If he's able to lose 20 pounds, it'll probably benefit fit him greatly. He'll be able to be faster and more agile on both ends of the court. So clearly Zion didn't have a smooth intro to professional basketball. His year was challenging and though he looked great during the games that we actually got to see him play in, ultimately he didn't live up to expectations. Because of that, does he not deserve to sit so high on a pedestal? Personally, I think he deserves all the praise and accolades that he can get, but one thing that we need to realize about Zion Williamson is that he's not going to be the type of player to suit up in every single game. I've heard it put like this before, he's great, but infrequent. He played 24 games, which is obviously very low, but if he was playing 50 games a season and absolutely crushing it each time, I'm okay with that. Professional sports, especially basketball, are rough on your body, and we need to be okay with athletes who are going to sit out but make an impact once they are on the court. And I believe that Zion can be that kind of guy. Yeah, he didn't really live up to expectations, but when we did get to see him play, he was phenomenal. We know that he's good. Zion is just not going to be the every game kind of guy. What do you guys think? Is he worth the hype? Was he overhyped? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell. I'm Devin Howard for The Fumble and I'll see you later.